striking, grappling, fighting from the ground. This is mixed martial arts. Two fighters competing for victory in a contest open to virtually any style of fighting. The sport is still relatively new in China, but the country already has its rising stars. Li Jingyang hails from the remote region of Xinjiang. With his combination of skills and charisma, he might just be the superstar that popularizes MMA in the Middle Kingdom. In fighting circles, he's known as the leech. I love fighting in the cage. I enjoy the bloodthirst, like a leech clinging onto a person. When I fight, I like to learn from the leech's spirit, stick it out until the end, and never let go of my opponent. Li is among a small group of Chinese fighters who've made it to the big leagues, the Ultimate Fighting Championships, or UFC. MMA didn't even exist as a sport back in the early 90s, but today the UFC is worth over $1.6 billion and was named by Forbes as the 10th most valuable sports brand in the world. For them, China is the next great frontier. It's still early days for MMA in China, but mixed martial arts is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. And with UFC trying to break into the Chinese market, there are big opportunities for Chinese fighters. Yao Jiuque is a fighter who's made the most of these opportunities. He was a cast member on The Ultimate Fighter China, a UFC TV show searching for Chinese fighters with breakout potential. His performance got him noticed and won him a UFC contract. But for a young man starting out, MMA can be a tough life. I started MMA in 2010. Back then there wasn't much competition here in China. And for us professional fighters, that meant no income and life was hard. One time I broke my collarbone and was out for a year. It wasn't a good year for me. But things got better after my surgery. I resumed training and I was able to qualify for the show. I felt great after that. Preparing them for fight night is coach Vince Soberano. A Muay Thai champion himself, he's been training Chinese fighters since 2005. He's seen the market grow and he believes it's only a matter of time before MMA becomes huge in China. And you can't help but enjoy it, you know, even if people don't understand it, they see there's so much action and it's just, it's really exciting. So even though in the beginning there's been a little bit of, uh, you know, of resistance because people didn't understand it, it's really growing now. I can see, I can see getting really popular and on top of that getting really trendy as well. MMA is a highly individual sport. Each fighter enters the cage alone. But here in China, even a young fighter can become a role model, carrying the hopes and dreams of a nation. I'm definitely representing China. I feel exhilarated to go and fight. There are definitely pressures, but I'll turn those pressures into motivation. These young fighters have come a long way, but their biggest challenges still lie ahead. On May 15th, they'll face top international competition when the UFC comes to the Philippines. Victory will see their reputations grow, but it'll also help build their fan base back in China. A breakout star may be all it takes for the UFC to crack the Chinese market and bring MMA into the mainstream. Vincent Monaghan, CCTV, Beijing.